it's good to see you. Uh, looks like we have a lot to go over. Your suspicions are dead on. You are without a doubt pregnant. I knew deep down in my heart, but hearing it out loud was still a blow. I'm sorry if this isn't the news that you were looking for, but unfortunately those take-home pregnancy tests are a lot more accurate than you would think. I want to help you. Why don't we go over a few of your options? I don't have a good sense of your morals, but, and I'm sorry if this offends you, one of your options to terminate a pregnancy is abortion. I'm glad that abortion isn't my only option. I think it would be easier to end my own life before it came to harming an innocent, unborn child. I think you should carry this baby to term. You would make a great parent. My services are available to you free of charge. My business partners won't be happy to hear that, but I feel compelled to help you. I don't know what it is. Maybe you remind me of my dear sweet mother in her prime when she was good and fertile. <laughs> yes, yes, all right, all right, all right. Now, uh... Here's my card. I want you to make an appointment with Sheila and come in every two weeks for regular checkups. My personal number's on there. Do not hesitate to call. Anything you need, anytime, you feel free to call me. And remember, everything's gonna be all right. Yes, the forever child is on its way. You've got mail. Father, please hear me out. I've been to every church in the area, and none of them will help us. It's, it's my daughter. I think she's possessed. You have to believe me. We don't know what to do. I just want my daughter back. We need you, Father. Please help us.
Hi, are you the gentleman that called? Yes, please come in. All right. Thank you for coming on such short notice. No problem. It's all part of the duty that comes with the collar. Still, thanks for coming. So when did all this start happening? Well, the small thing started almost two months ago. Sleepwalking. She stopped eating. She would lock herself in the room for days at a time. Then it progressed from there. We would find her in the yard playing with, with dead animals. And then she started defecating and urinating all over the house. And has she been speaking in tongues or any foreign languages? Yes. We would wake up in the middle of the night with her standing over us, speaking in some God knows what language. Anything else? Well... Please, it's important. Two nights ago, she came into the living room naked and straddled me. She tried to... She tried to fornicate. Remember, this isn't your daughter. She's been taken over by a demonic entity. They will do anything to stray the righteous from their path. Is she restrained up there? Yes. We didn't know what else to do. No, that's good. Uh, the restraints are necessary for the process. She's going to put up a good fight, so it's safer for her if she's restrained. Do you think you can save her? I do. If I were to acknowledge you, who would it be that I'm addressing? Belial. Well, Belial, my name is Father Creonis, and I'm here to tear you from that little whore's soul. Whore? Is that the way you speak of God's children? Fuck God. I could indicate by the smell of your rotten pecker that you weren't one of his agents. No, I don't work for God. Nonetheless, I am going to remove you from this plane. Phenambulum beta erichus. Not going to need you this time. You know, the worst part of dealing with demons is I have to carry this fucking crucifix around. What is it with God and Satan that they just can't get along? God is a weakling who wishes he could rule as masterfully as Satan. God is weak, you are correct. But Satan is also weak. And what master do you serve that you would speak of Satan that way? The new terror. If Satan is so strong, it shouldn't be so easy to extinguish his agents. Satan's reign is coming to an end. My work here is important. But I must travel to fucking New Jersey of all places. The final phase is beginning there. Satan is a pussy. Did you save her? Nah. Man, these fucking demons have been popping up everywhere lately. Your daughter must have been a real good whore for one of them to choose her. Satan and his cocksuckers must have something big brewing right now. Stop that. 
At least God gave up fighting a long time ago. Things should be a little bit more exciting now, anyway. What the fuck is going on? Who is this? This asshole just fucked up Pablo Charlie's shipment of jumping beans. Jumping beans? Are you talking about the cocaine? Yeah, the cocaine. I thought we were using cool code names now. Jumping beans is not a cool code name. Why did you dress this shit fister up like Santa? You can't pre-package like this. You think I have time to play dress up when he just snorted a whole day's shipment of cocaine? Jesus Christ in a denim jacket. He snorted our whole day's shipment? That was the last fucking drop. How is he still functioning? Something tells me his maximum capacity for functioning isn't very high to begin with. We're fucked. What are you gonna tell Pablo? He's gonna split our pricks open with a box cutter. I got this asshole. We just hand him over. Explain what happened. Fuck letting Pablo have all the fun. Let's cut Santa's head off and put it under that pillow that stripper that makes fun of me all the time for having a small dick. Huh? I mean, I don't have one. Have a little one. What's he got to say for himself anyway? I needed it! Finally speaks. It stops the visions. I need to stop them so I can think and get back there. This guy is fucked. <sighs> we'll deliver the presents. <laughs> What's he looking at? I don't know. One of his visions? I don't think so. I'm a girl. I'm a big girl. Oh, you're such, oh, you're such a big girl. Oh, you said. Hello, Chris. Hello. I'm from the North Pole. <laughs> you're under the bath floor, right? Yes. More than anything. And why is that? There's an imposter there. A false Santa that's, that's destroying everything I worked for. We can help you get back. Who? Chris Kringle. You know my name? I have been watching you for some time now. Why? We need your help. What is it you want, Chris? To get back to the North Pole. More than anything. The imposter is in your place. He is ruining everything you stand for. Mrs. Claus will not escape untended. No. We can get you back to her. What do you need me to do? Remember this woman's face. Hey. 
So do you think they'll keep you late again today? No, the guys know you're pregnant. They're pitching in and helping me cover some extra hours. Oh, that's sweet of them. Yeah, it's not like there's anything going on in the town. It's been quiet recently. It's a small town. Not a lot of people. A lot of them are old. Yeah, I really shouldn't complain. Goddamn Hooper down at the office tried to get that hooker's number that I busted last week. <laughs> He's such a horn dog. That guy would hump a buzzsaw if it had a hole in it. I have my doctor's appointment later on with Dr. Spleen. I don't think I'll be home to make dinner. Oh, don't worry about that. I'll grab some pizza on the way home. Yes, the little guy loves pizza. Man, I can't wait till this little Hellraiser pops out. Not too much longer. Oh, I gotta go to the station. I'll see you tonight. Love ya. Love you too. Sickness, I assure you, they're all run of the mill symptoms. I understand the dream was vivid, but you have to understand your body's flush with hormones right now. I, I can fit you in around 10. Just come on by and straighten everything out. It's going to be fine. Nothing like that. I just have a. Is there really a problem, or did you just go? <sighs> I want to hire a bodyguard, just to be sure. When has money ever been an issue? This sounds like bullshit. Extra measures won't hurt. We need pure sacrifices. The more, the better. Why has there been such an increase in demand lately? Not your place to ask, worm. <sighs> Do you have any other patients due soon? Just one. But her husband as a sheriff it would draw too much heat. This one's perfect. No close friends or family. Just do whatever you deem necessary. If you fail me, I will drown you in a tub of your own shit. Understood. If you fuck this up like you botched converting those preschoolers, I'll bring in that shithead that runs the paint store to take over. Thank 
really let my life sink this low. I can't raise a baby on my own in this twisted world. I need to end it before it goes any farther. I was promised there would be milkshakes. And there was! I wanted chocolate though, and they only had vanilla. You aren't ready for the start yet. Your baby needs to be born here on Earth, not in the dust of the galaxy. Thank you. Have a seat. Hello, Dr. Spleen's office. Uh huh. Yeah. yeah. Mm hmm. Okay. Yep. All right. All right. Mm hmm. Yeah. 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 Mm hmm. Okay. I really like your bag. My husband says I'm nosy, and he's right. But you look like you could use a friend, and I need a walking buddy. What do you think? Okay, great. You'll really enjoy the walk. It's good for you. Just ask Dr. Spleen. We can get a head start on dropping that baby weight. Everything gets better. Nice to see you. How are you feeling? Crampy. Yes, yes, that's all normal. <laughs> yeah, but it doesn't make it any more enjoyable. Well, it seems like you're taking to the pregnancy well. Looks like I could fit two fists in there without touching wrists. Excuse me? 
Just a little gynecologist humor. <laughs> right. I see you've met another of my patients. Yeah, we're gonna be walking buddies. Ah, that'll be good. You're both first-timers. Seems sad. Many of my patients are scared at first, but after my guidance, they all find the right path eventually. You're an okay guy, Dr. Spleen. I try, I try. Hey, babe. You going anywhere important tonight? If I was, I sure shit wouldn't tell you. Oh, come on. We can work something out. We can have ourselves a hootin' Annie. You must have me confused with your sister. The trailer park's back that way. Why don't you go knock her up on a bed of chain wallets? Hey, asshole. Why don't you go stick your dick somewhere else? Because this pickle's full. Oh, Dr. Spleen? That's my gynecologist. His office is right around the corner. Did you get the pizza? Yes, of course I did. Pizza can wait. How can... How can she be with him like that? That is her husband. He's no good for her. I can take her to my place of joy. That's not possible. What do I have to do with her? and the rest of your elves again, you'll do what you're told when you're told to do it. Now pull out your dinky little cock and show it to me. What? I said pull out your cock and wag it at me, or Rudolph will get made into a fine stew. <laughs> oh, Santa Christ. quite a bit of money in there. All I want you to do is watch over one of my clients. Anyone who doesn't look like they belong around a new mother, you bring them to me, understand? And keep your racist ideals at bay. I don't need you bringing any Jew or nigger you come across to me. That's half up front. You get the other half when the job is complete. And one more thing. I don't need you flapping your, your cock-hungry lips about this to anyone, understand? Yeah, this fucker broke into my hotel room last night and tried to get the jump on me. Who is he, a Satanist? I don't know. Let me check.
Yeah, he's a Satanist. How'd they know where you were? I don't know, they must have got a leak about what's going on out in Jersey. How are things going there? Pumpkin Patches emailed me the other night. Things are moving in our favor, for now. I've heard strange things about that one. You heard strange things about the host of the new terror? Was that a blasphemous statement I just heard, or was that a casual mistake? Forgive me, I didn't mean to- If I catch you speaking that way again, I'll grind your bones to dust and piss on them! Forgive me, just, just so you know, we may have another lead out there. It shouldn't be necessary, but follow up on it anyway, and... Hold on. Listen to me. Every one of those Satanist fucks you come across, you kill. Tell everybody. Do you understand? Understood. <laughs> Nothing gets me harder than squeezing the rotten guts out of those dick suckers. Good. to do with as you please until my final orders come through. If you betray me, I'll burn down your precious North Pole and everything you've ever loved. Understand? <laughs> I'm on the ashes. Do I need to repeat myself? No, sir. Show it to me again! Show what? That little pipe came in your car, dick! Again? decided to come out today. This whole thing can get pretty boring by yourself. And it's nice to have somebody to go through the whole pregnancy thing with. Bettina's a sweetheart. She's making this whole ordeal way less scary. I don't feel like I'm on my own anymore. I'm glad I can be there for you. I was wondering when you were going to pick up on it. How? What? I noticed back at the doctor's office. I figured you couldn't tell yet. How is this possible? I'm not entirely sure, but I'm fairly certain it has something to do with.
okay. Do you need any help? Mm -hmm. That was strange. I hope that man's okay. So hey, would you like to come over for dinner tonight? Uh -huh. You can meet my husband. Uh -huh. I'll have him cook for us. <laughs> okay, great. Uh -huh. So Regina tells me you guys had a nice time at the park. That's wonderful. I'm really, really happy that you guys found each other. Maybe it'll keep this one from shopping, if you know what I mean. Oh, honey. No, I'm just joking, hun. I know. His jokes always fall flat. Well, I'm going to be a good husband and clean the table up for you ladies so you can relax. Thanks, honey. No problem. Just having some quiet girl talk. <laughs> so thanks for coming. Yep, it was a pleasure. I'll call you tomorrow. So she's nice. I pick good friends. And better husbands. When you hear something really weird? What? About her and about me. Okay, what? I can hear what she's thinking. Excuse me? And she can hear me too. It's almost like we're linked. Um, you gotta be shitting me. Are you going hooky kooky on me? I swear to God, we can communicate psychically. Even from far away. Like right now, she's laughing at this conversation. <laughs> can you hear what I'm thinking? No, but I can feel what you're thinking.
How do I look, Doc? Uh, you look like someone beat you with the wrong end of a shit stick. You must be one of those new Terra acolytes. Oh. And you must be a Satanist. And how exactly did you come by for that information? I can smell your pussy and it smells like sulfur. <laughs> Who are you? I'm a rock star. <sighs> My name's Pumpkin Patches. How cute. You need terror creeps have been spreading like antibiotic resistant gonorrhea. Oh. What is it that you new terror creeps actually worship? The sun or the fucking moon? I really don't get it. No, I don't care. I, I really don't give a shit. I was just being polite. Well, thank you. Why do you want the baby? What baby? You know, the devil's real, and he's the only terror, new or old. He's gonna rape your fucking god. He's gonna hold him down and titty fuck him. Thank <laughs> you. 
There, there, little one. Suckle now while the teat is fresh. Soon the unholy host will rot, and the milk will sour and curdle like the blood of our enemies. strike at any time. Enjoy yourself while you can. Two weeks. That's all we need. And then the mother's milk will have saturated the child host. And our plan will be ready to set in motion.
What's wrong? Is the baby okay? Yeah, baby's fine. Don't worry about it. What's what's up? I don't know. Is it your friend? Maybe. I don't understand any of this psychic mumbo jumbo, but if you want, I'll go check in on the situation if it'll make you feel better. Can you? Yeah, okay. Thank you, be careful. I only love two things. Two things, that's it. Do you want to know what they are? I love seeing. And I love feet. The masters are angry at you. They only give me the ones they hate the most. They say you were going to New Jersey to interfere with our plans. That's bad. You almost made it until they got you. You're in Pennsylvania, right across the water. I'm only gonna do two things to you. Two things, that's it. Do you wanna know what they are? Well first, I'm gonna boil your balls. Then, I'm going to suck your Jimmy Jams until they prune. There's only one thing I hate more than seeing. And that's getting my fucking feet touched! Hey, Barry, it's Kurt. I'm doing a wellness check at 309 Bayview. Probably nothing, but uh, give me a call back in 10 minutes. I, again, it's probably nothing, but if, if you don't hear from me, I want you here fast. Stop right there, hands up, Valerie. We have this situation under our control. Take his gun. Now turn slowly. You? Yes, yes, there's no point in hiding it now. What are you, what are you talking about? There's something here. I don't know what it is, but we're well equipped to handle it. It had to be done. Another fucking judgmental look from you, and you're fucking fired. You got it, you goddamn duck-stepping fascist. If you don't like my methods, then give me my money back and hit the fucking bricks. Come on. What, nothing? I didn't think so. Now keep your fucking mouth shut and follow me.
is ambitious and rising fast. Too fast for this 50 year vessel. Falling apart. No good anymore. See? <laughs> We've looked all over for your child. The forever child. It was always going to be me that found her. I'm gonna stomp you into the earth before I transcend into the stars. Simply because I like doing that kind of thing. And this is my last chance. After that, I'll hand the baby over to Crayonis for transference. Did you know I raised him from when he was your baby size? I'm going to have to ask you to let them go. You had your chance, Doctor. You couldn't get the job done the first time. I'm the one who saw this through. We're the ones getting that child. Hmm. You want the baby? The little baby? The boo ba ba baby boo ba boo You know, if everyone in New Terra is a fruitcake like you, you'll never accomplish anything. We've been around longer, our numbers are larger, and in fact, we're just smarter in general. Look at me. I'm a doctor. A man of medicine. What are you, a fucking waste of DNA? I told you before, doctor. Your medicine's dirty. My magic is clean. 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 Oh, wrong hand. Sorry. Clean! Sanitize your dirty little soul. Blast. Stupid fuck! Get the baby! Now get the baby and let's go! Now!
Kurtman, how you doing? Good. How's it going? Uh, it goes, it goes. Uh, Kurt, uh, this is uh, Sylvester, my partner. Hey, it's nice to meet you. Same here. How was your little vacation? Good, man. Just what the doctor ordered. I bet. This is some fuckfest of epic proportions he got us mixed up in. Yeah, so can you bring me up to speed, man? I, ne I need to get filled in. Well, here's what we got so far. For starters, that ultra creep gyno you and Regina were seeing, <laughs> Henrik Spleen, guy slimed his way into America after he lost his license to practice in ass nowhere Europe. Didn't you check this guy out before you went? I know, I, you know, I, I should have known better, but he just came so highly recommended and yeah, I've been busy. Whatever. He was DOA when we got to the scene, obviously. It took one in the back and through the heart. Started poking around his assets before we got a little, uh, stop snooping around from the higher ups. What do you mean? It means your boy was into some evil shit. That we'd be better off not uncover. Yeah, no kidding. His bank accounts and properties were liquidated before he even hit the crematorium. Spooky shit. Wait, so who's the goon he's working with? Oh, that was, uh, let me see, uh, Frederick Schlame. Low level neo Nazi scum in and out of prison, you know, deadbeat dad. Uh, we're thinking hired muscle. Where is he? Oh, uh, he got picked up uh, trying to make a run for the state border. Uh, arrested, uh, no good for info. Uh, hasn't said a word to nobody. All right, so tell me about the weird one. Get ready for this. Your last guy's a fucking alien or something. Can't find anything what? on him. No fingerprints, no dental records. Guys didn't have the fucking internet profile. You ask me, it looks like he was born in the bottom of the fucking ocean. I... what? Uh, did, did you see, the thing about Sylvester is he don't talk much, uh, but when he does, it's usually some cryptic shit. He's a good guy, though. I just don't think he ain't fucking human, is all. <laughs> you know, you might be right. Went around showing this to the vagrants in the drunk tank. Uh, most of them didn't recognize, but one, at least I think he did, he went feral. Started climbing up the walls, screaming, pumpkin patches, pumpkin patches, after I showed him the picture. Found him dead. Drowned himself in his own fucking toilet. Are you serious? Tough. I wish I wasn't. Fuck, man. I know. This whole situation's bad voodoo. We narrowed down a location where we think Mr. Pumpkin Patches may have been squatting. We're headed there now. This is like a sick joke. What did the Nazi, the doctor, and the vagrant have in common? A joke with a fatal punchline. What's the matter? Some product of the Mother Cosmos has been here. I don't feel like fucking around in there. W what? Just, uh, just ignore him. Feels like some kind of empty vacuum that lost all sense of itself from the people last living here left. Just go patrol the exterior or something, you fucking maniac. Christ, I think I saw the real estate listed for this place in the last dive bar I was at. 
Let's go check out that shed over there. Looks like a shed. You know, I hope this shed some light on what this psychopath was up to. You should have said that before you turned the flashlight on. What? A detective joke. Like, shed some light and... <sighs> Stop being a smartass and find some clues. Yeah. Some bad juju out of this. All right, I'm gonna go check on uh, Sylvester over there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Give me a second. Sylvester? Sylvester? Oh, 
She thinks you're a stinky little cock anyway. My baby. I can treat you better than she can. Let me hit her down. Probably thinking I never made it with a priest before. What? Priest. Made it with him plenty of times. So what? Never mind. Sorry. You're not from around here, are you? No, I came to help a friend. But I didn't make it in time. Oh, sorry. Well, more of a father figure, really. But it doesn't matter anymore. Smell your satanic stink the moment you spread those filthy legs. be saying to yourself, what a four jailbreaking Nazi is doing in that damn single mother's rental home. And what's she doing with a surplus of camping equipment? Well, you just have to stay tuned to find out. <laughs> So, why is it just me and him that have proper Nazi ink? I ain't getting no fucking prison tattoos. Those needles are dirty than a nigger's dick. I'm waiting for something meaningful. All right, whatever. How long would I sit out of here? I'm freezing. Would you rather be out here or back in prison? Here, obviously. I just don't want to get frostbite. Shut your dick lips, Juliet. My Uncle Romeo's going to set us up down south. How south? Texas South, border stopping wetbacks with the white power circuit down there. Yeah, well how long we gotta wait out here? Should be only a day or two. We gotta lay low. Sounds good to me. What are we gonna do to pass the time?
Hi, Regina. Yes, you are? Father Crayonis. I'm the helping hand that the church extends for people who are in need. Oh, come on in. Thank my job to help those in need find solace in the power of the Lord. Still means a lot. So tell me, Regina, what is it that's bothering you? My husband. It's been, wow, six months since he went missing. And do you feel abandoned? At first. And are both of these lovely children yours? The little ones are biologically. The other is a friend who passed away. We adopted. Well, they certainly are precious. I'm just starting to feel a little overwhelmed is all. Two babies and all by myself. Regina, when it feels like the world is suffocating us, that's when God is testing us the most. Yeah, he's putting you through the hell of a ringer now, but you're going to come out a lot stronger in the end. Why though? Through the Lord's trials, we earn our place in his eternal paradise. Really? Really. And besides, I'm sure you've heard it before, but the Lord does work in mysterious ways. And besides, you're special. What do you mean? You and your friend, you shared a psychic link, didn't you? How did you know that? Wait, so you can... I do, and there's a lot more people out there like us. And with some training, I can help you make it stronger. So, anybody got any good campfire stories? What are you, 12? 12 inches and your mom. Fuck else we gonna do? Actually, I've got one. Really? Yeah. So my grandpa used to tell me. I'm gonna need another beer if we're gonna go down this road. Anybody else need one? Hear your grandpa's bullshit story. You guys ready to hear the terrors of the giant mountain niggers? Excuse me? Deep in the mountains, there was a clan of nine foot tall niggers. They had dreads that went down to their feet and tusks that came out of their faces like warthogs. My grandpa saw one once. He shot at it with his 12 gauge. Didn't even pierce the chalky eye. Oh wait, are we talking about Bigfoot? Nah man, probably the same Jigaboo family, but it's not the same thing. Alright, just to clear that up. Anyways, every summer solstice, they would come down in flocks to the nearest towns, drag the white women out, and rape them until they were pregnant with their naked seed. Ha! That's the only believable part of the story. Yeah, yeah, it's true. They would come down and pick the ones with the fattest asses. Having a big ass in my grandfather's town is pretty much a death sentence. Sometimes they would fight over the ones with the biggest, fattest bottoms, and they'd tear them in half. So what happens to the pregnant chicks after they climb up the mountains? Well, my friend, where do you think professional basketball players come from? <laughs> <laughs> You're fucking retarded. 
I'm gonna need another beer if I'm gonna deal with this bullshit. Yo, Ryan! Where's a shoe? What the fuck? Honestly, who throws it? Oh, no! fuck! Y'all help me run. We gotta get the fuck out of here. How are we gonna get him anywhere, man? His uncle's gonna be here. And if he finds his nephew bleeding out when I hear, we're fucked. Who gives a fuck? There's some maniac lurking around. Quit being a pussy. There's three of us. If he shows up again, we beat the nigger living fuck out of him. This is fucked. Mondo fucked. Shut up.
Hello. Hi. Can I help you? My name's Chris. Um, I don't want to sound too forward, but you're stunning. Thanks, I guess. I've seen you walking in the park the past few months here, and you have two children, right? Where are they? My mom has them. Well, I see a lot of the same people here, but, um, you really caught my eye being so pretty and all. Thanks. It's not every day a handsome man talks me out of the blue. Sorry if I seem standoffish. It's okay. I completely understand. You look familiar, Chris. Have we met? No, but I'm sure you've seen me walking around the park here. That's it. So, like I said, you have two kids, and I brought a surprise for them. Really? Oh, that was really nice of you, Chris. Yeah, it's no problem. Thanks. Um, I was wondering, would you maybe like to take a walk with me here? Maybe tomorrow night, just the two of us? Well... You don't have to answer right away. Listen, I'll be here either way tomorrow night. If you decide you want to take a walk with me, all you gotta do is show up. Well, I promise I'll think about it. It's good enough for me. And thanks again, Chris. It's no problem. Well, see you later. Excellent job. You're picking this up really fast. I've been feeling so much better since I started working with you. That's wonderful. Can I talk to you about something a little personal? Of course you can. Well, I got asked out on a date. That's great news. Really? Yeah, I think it's time you start looking into dating. You're feeling good about yourself and your situation. It's time to get back out there. One of the greatest gifts of life is to share it with somebody else. Never thought of it like that. Who's the suitor? His name is Chris. I met him at the park. He's really cute. He walks there every day just like me. That's a good thing. Already you two share a common interest. I suppose so. Did you accept his invitation? Well, not yet. I wanted to see what you thought. I think it's a great idea. Then I'll do it. I just have to call my sister and see if she can babysit. That's not necessary. I'd be happy to watch the kids for you. Really? Of course. Thank you so much. Oh, you are welcome. It must be tough raising two kids on your own. It can be. And it was at first. But it gets easier. And I've had some good help from some really nice people. That's great. It's good to have, you know, close friends and family. It helps with tragedy. Exactly. Makes you feel not so alone. I'd find somebody so soon after Kurt left, but I really feel comfortable around you. I'm glad. I can lie, I actually had a crush on you for quite some time now. You always look so cute walking through the park. And tonight, I nearly fainted seeing how pretty you looked. Thank you, Chris. You sure know how to make a girl feel special. Just speaking the truth. So tell me about yourself. Are you originally from this area? I need to use the bathroom. Don't you run off on me. Oh, Chris, oh my god, 
Oh, Chris. Oh, Santa Claus. Santa Claus. <laughs> It is time, Chris. Time for you to complete the day. Yeah, Chris. No more pussy for you. And speaking of pussy, let me see yours one last time. I can't. I love her. What do you love more? Her or Mrs. Kringle? If you don't do this, you will be gutted and raped. In that order. You're going to throw away her and your whole workshop for this little whore out there? She has nothing, Chris. Nothing. I know. Now, do what you have to do. I know this was hard for you, but the organization can't thank you enough. You did good, Chris. You did real good. Do what you promised. You said you sent me back. I want to go back to the North Pole. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're wondering why we went through so much trouble just to get that tongue. Well, you see, our mother, she wasn't the first one to come down to this earth. A long time ago, there was another woman named Eleanor Shelley. 
Now Eleanor, she was Regina's great-great-grandmother. And back when she was alive, she was visited by another being from our mother's homeworld. Kind of like a preliminary scouting of our planet. Now this visitor, he was charged with planting a code. A code that we were gonna need today for this ritual. So he took that code and he embedded it right into Regina's great-great-grandmother. So now here it is, stuck in her DNA, generations down the road. And that code got passed down from generation to generation until we got word today that it was time to begin transcendence. And now, that special little bit of genetic information that we need today to complete our ritual is wrapped up right in the pink meat of that little whore's tongue. Oh, <laughs> 